simplify. He's the number one seed. That means he's got... Uh, on paper, at least. It never works out that way. The easiest route through to the final, but our first chance of real racing action. Of course, these two are going straight through to the next round, the second round, round of 16. Or the quarterfinals, you could call it that way. And do you think here, Liam, that um, there's going to be you know, much gamesmanship on show? They're just going to ride this nah, thing, I think, they? Yeah. yeah, they're just going to ride it. I think it'd be pretty foolish if they were, you know, rubbing elbows. <laughs> you know, I think they're... I can see they're putting down maybe 75, 80% power, but they're, they're not going to do anything risky, go for any crazy passes or anything like that. So it'll just be a yeah. nice ride for them. Especially this stage of the competition. You totally. can't win it in this round, but you could certainly lose it if yep. it all goes... A little wrong, and these guys know the deal, though. So it is, um, as you can see, the start area, it's, it, the fog's lifted, it's been coming in and out all day, you'll be sick of hearing us talk about the weather, but, you know, <laughs> got a Brit on commentary, that's that's our go-to, so <laughs> sorry, folks, but further down the track, it does get a little bit foggier, so we're hoping we're going to be able to get the drones flying, uh, but we might not be able to. Um, we've got one in the air now, and we can drop onto the drone. I love this drone footage, it yeah, gives a great perspective. So good. Yeah, it's, the, it's kind of the only way that you're going to get a, a feel for the speed and what it would be like to kind of be a rider b behind another rider. Oh, we oh. have a crash. It looks like Alex, uh, uh, he came off his board. He looks fine. He's standing up. Uh, good thing Owen was able to avoid him. Uh, so they, they should both be fine. Hopefully Alex can skate through the next round. Yeah, I and mean, that's it. exactly yeah. as you were saying. You're not going to be rubbing elbows, but yeah. that's how you can lose it in yeah. this round of 32 if you're yeah. not able to compete. But that's good to see. So you can back on his uh, back on his board and moving down to the finish. But that's a little wake up call. This course has got some bite in it. It can grab you in yep. the blink of an eye. But uh, yeah, he appears to be okay. Yeah, so that's good. Uh, luckily, the, the spill wasn't uh, too gnarly. He got back up on his board. So I have full confidence that you'll see him in the next round and. And now Owen really gets to, to chill and hang out because he's got no one next to him. So this should be a pretty pretty mellow one for them both. Yeah, it's just another practice run now yeah. for, for Owen. And yeah, this round of 32, uh, because uh, because of the field size, we've got a, quite a few heats of three, a couple more heats of two. Uh, but once we get into the next round, round two, the round of 16, or the quarterfinals, as I would call it, we're going to have the heats of four. So... This first round uh, kind of is what it is. And actually, since just before we came on air, we were really worried about the fog. It has got a little bit better further down down the course. There's a, uh, back with uh, Alex. He's, again, just got to put that mistake out of his mind and focus on the task at hand. He's got a free run now to the finish. and yeah, But that, that next round's going to be that little bit tougher because, yeah, I can see uh, Harry Clark, Chase Sailor, potentially could go through from that next round heat of three so we do have lost footage from the bottom so the next heat, heat heat number two lined up in the start harry clark from australia uh we're supposed to be three in this heat but um sure looks like it's just it. harry as chase there. yeah, yeah chase, harry and chase. Uh, chase yeah chase is from the u.s harry from australia both of these dudes have pretty extensive uh, racing experience Again, you know, since they're they're smart guys, they're strategic. They've been doing this for a while. You you won't you probably won't see anything too intense. They you know they would hate to wreck and hurt themselves, but uh, yeah, they should get a good good quick practice run. We got Owen obviously coming to the line first after uh, Alex fell off there. Then back to Chase and uh, Harry. Yeah, so my list did have the the woman in here as well. So uh, we'll go off the information that I've got uh, in front of me. Uh, until we see otherwise but uh, this one again so straight through to final but what a quarter final that one is going to be yeah. with Harry Chase Owen and Alex yeah that could be a final oh yeah that, that very well could be a final all four of those guys are, are incredibly oh, fast rapid. super dialed um, so that will be a, a good one to see but yeah, it looks like th these guys are, are going for it. You know, you got Chase sitting in uh, in Harry's draft there for a second, kind of catching up to him, but doing a pretty early air break, so not charging uh, 100% into these corners, which totally makes sense. Yeah, Chase had a pretty gnarly spill as well. Right. Um, or, yeah, qualifying, so he, you know, seated at that little bit further down, so he had to go hike through the forests and through yeah. the boulders to, yeah. get, to get his board back, and... But uh, all is good. He's made the made the pass uh, on uh, on Harry. So yep. 
Chase going to take over at the front of the race, and you know Harry's not going to care at this this yeah, stage. He can... sh- shouldn't be pushing each other for for heavy passes. Uh, it was interesting to see Harry's line through that rock right, which I was talking about earlier. That that one's when I read the course, one of the uh, most hectic corners, and Harry slid a couple times throughout it, which I think is wise. Um, so we'll see kind of how how each rider handles that corner differently. This is a really fun section of the course where it just starts to sweep a little bit and coming out the tighter turns, but you can see this next hit. Long left-hander coming up. Harry pretty low on the board, but uh, back in at the start. Looks like we were supposed to have uh, Oscar, Yasmin, and Grace, but uh, we've, got, we've got Grace on the right there. Uh, uh, got, no, no, it's, it's not. I, I, We'll no, see in a second, but yeah. we know that's Jasmine. Yeah, it's definitely Jasmine on the left. I believe that's Oscar on the so right. So it is Oscar. Yeah, yeah, so Grace maybe. I think she had a pretty big fall as well. Okay. So, um, yeah, she may have been uh, why well, the ambulance uh, went down a little earlier if you were with us. So, Jasmine Hannah Graf, Belgian, now based, uh, based out of Innsbruck in Austria. She was telling me she's uh, heading off. To Argentina, like a lot of uh, riders are, but she's going to be doing some traveling around South America. So just the two again, straight through into the next round. But just gives us another chance to look at the track, and we're going to hope the fog lifts and we can follow it all the way to the finish. And, and Oscar getting a uh, you know, strong start uh, yeah. in the mail in this. He's got a little bit more weight behind him so he's building the speed up on that top section which yeah. actually in some sunshine now yeah and i could see it was it was pretty smart of him going into that first left he was carving his board pretty hard which, which tells me that he might have fresh wheels on he's trying to kind of warm them up get them prepared to brake traction and then slide sometimes when you have brand new wheels on and you go straight into a slide here he's doing it again carving around if you go straight for a slide on fresh wheels it can be a pretty uh, abrupt uh choppy feeling so he's kind of warming those wheels up getting them prepared to slide so that's that's smart of him and yeah like you said he's just you know some of these uh, people have more weight than the others uh, but jasmine she is she's fast i was yeah. i was excited to watch her in some of the uh, practice runs and she was looking quick as a view in the finish area harry clark on the left chatting with uh, owen fox and We'll go through, I think we'll go through all this this entire round and then we'll move everyone back to the top in one go in the bus. So you see Oscar here, he's just adjusting the visors and it, it's the light changing, isn't it? So you just exactly. moving it, yeah. Yeah, I was just going to say that. I think actually is it, yeah, they descend and oh, it looks like Oscar hit Whoa. the bales. Uh, that's pretty exciting. So maybe yep, he's kind of pushing is. it. There yeah, he is, he's, good. he's on his feet. Yep. Interesting. Again, that could be an issue with the wheels. I was seeing him kind of carve, which, you know, maybe tells me that his wheels weren't feeling the right way. But he looks fine. Uh, he's kind of hanging out, uh, taking it slow the rest of the run. So you want to be getting some heat into the t- into those wheels, like exactly like in motorsport where you see them moving around, getting that grip. Exactly. That's going to give you that grip and stuff. But if it's a new wheel, does it grip? Is it bite too quick? Right. Is that the problem? Right, right. I'm hearing a lot of the guys uh, normally on a, on a kind of normal standard track, You'd want fresh wheels every race run, uh, be consistent, but a lot of the riders are actually opting to use wheels that have one, maybe two runs on them already. They say that the pavement is too unpredictable uh, of a slide with a fresh set of wheels. So I think that's what he was doing. He was trying to warm those wheels up, uh, make them break loose a little easier. So on to heat number four, just passing our commentary position. Yanis Makarian from France and... Uh, Soon Thomas Wing from Hong Kong in this one. And Thomas was uh, was saying earlier he's excited to be out here. Um, he hasn't raced since before COVID, so he's pretty he's pretty stoked to be out here, and he's looking good. Um, Yeah, the visor thing is interesting yeah. that I'm seeing a lot of these guys mess with their visors and that's kind of telling me that the, you know, the fog and the visibility is really changing as they they descend. It's it's, you know, a bit thicker up here than it is down there. Um, 
so they're just kind of trying to get the best visibility that they can on the track. Yeah, I'm thinking there might be some issues with uh, those visors steaming up as well. Could be it. See them just shifting yep. the, the yep. visor, trying, trying to get, get some, some fresh air yeah, in there. Yeah, some airflow. Yeah. Yep. That's part of the game, particularly these conditions when it's sort of heavy air and you're breathing hard and just got to, it's so easy for those goggles to steam up and so again in winter sports we're changing our lenses all the time. I imagine you guys can uh, do the same and yeah, yeah changing just depending the, on the can light conditions totally so. changing the color visor i heard yeah. guys swapping to different colors and Giannis, i think this is i'm pretty sure this is Giannis here in front he's uh he's i've heard some of the other riders uh, in the paddock chatting about him and he seems to be a top contender um and he's looking really solid on this on this first yeah, seat he qualified here. in fourth uh, fourth quickest uh which is quite a nice position to be in here it gives him potentially quite a good uh, route through in the top half of the draw, top four, first four heats, uh, the winners there progressed would uh, progress through to face each other in the semifinals. So if you, it's a bit like sports like tennis and stuff, where you split into the top half and the bottom half with how the excuse me, while well, the brackets uh, work themselves out. Yeah, Giannis is looking really dialed here. This is kind of a nice, I think, kind of fast uh, warm-up run for him. So heat number five, Gregory Schwab and Khalil Hamouri getting uh, lined up again, just the two of them, which is going to be how it shakes down in uh, this uh, first round for most of the heats. Yeah, so they'll get a bye. They'll, oh, we had a bit of a false, a false start, start there. Yeah. It looks like uh, Hamour, uh, Khalil jumped the gun a little bit, but that's okay. I think they'll just reset and start them off again. Both of these guys live in uh, pretty ideal areas for, for downhill skateboarding. I believe Greg is uh, in Switzerland, which is known for its mountains. And then Khalil lives in Asheville, North Carolina, which has some of the best hills in the, in the United States. So here they are kicking off. Based on the kick, it tells me they're not going 100%. Oh, here we got Giannis, I think, coming across the finish line. And then back to Khalil and Greg. They've just passed us at the commentating mm -hmm. section. That's, that's us on the left, and that's little tent. So <laughs> there's a view in the finish area. It's a little warmer down there. Of course, these guys are not going to be feeling the cold once they get to the yeah, bottom, that's no. for sure. It's one way to warm up. And, uh, yeah, we got uh, three more heats to go after this one. And uh, we'll make... Guys will be getting their way, making their way back to the top. This, of course, the biggest category we've got here. And it's just gone three o'clock local time. That time you can see on the top right of your screen is the local time here. It's, yeah, well, we've got a couple of hours to get this done before before darkness descends on this volcano. Yeah, that we're on. But there you can see the view just down to the left. It's absolutely stunning. Yeah, so beautiful. So nice to have these drones going. Uh, I'm glad the weather's holding off so you yeah. guys get this kind of perspective. I, I got to shout out to the, the production crew here. They're really working tirelessly to make sure you guys get a good viewing experience. And Gregory is looking looking solid. I, I kind of wonder here, uh, as he gets lower, he's rocking a pretty dark visor, and I'm wondering if we're going to see him kind of messing with it like we have the other guys. Um, yes, yeah, so those changes in light, particularly on this course, you go from darkness, a little bit of fog, and then into almost sunshine as well. And that that just takes a second or two to adjust, adjust the eyes sometimes, and that's always a problem. I know we got Olaf here and Cole Trotta about to start. Um, both of these guys uh, super solid. Olaf on the left in the peacock suit. He's easy to remember. He's from Norway, so. He's used to skating in difficult conditions. And then Cole Trotta uh, from California, maybe not so much on the difficult condition front, but he's an incredibly talented skateboarder that's been doing it a long time. Had a brief, well, kind of long four-year hiatus from racing, but he's back. Uh, he's been skating the whole time, but not racing for about four years. So it'd be cool to watch him compete today. Um, Olaf, I believe, got to do some other races uh this season so he's feeling fresh probably so into the first all of these corners here you can just make it out corner number one yeah, it's right. stacked and we got a lot of you on the live chat it's building up again thanks so much for 
joining us, keep with questions, call hands coming in. Yeah, and I saw a question, uh, speaking of the live chat, asking if Grace Wong is out of the competition. I, I can't say for sure we don't have that information, but we didn't see her line up for her heat, uh, so I would assume that she is not competing. Um, I will say we, we, we didn't hear of any significant uh, ambulance trips, so uh, for whatever reason she's not on the line, it should not be anything too serious. Yeah, I did see her up in the start uh, nice. you know, afterwards, so, uh, well, the paddock area, so yep. right at Ryder's area, so, you know, she's, she's, oh, she's on up, her feet. Up and things, walking, yeah. yeah, that's good. And a quick shout out to Get That Skate Watching from Australia. Thanks for joining us, boys. I'm sure you got a good crew watching there. And yeah, back to Cole flying down one of the straights. He's looking super dialed, um, you know, staying in his tuck right kind of to the last minute before each corner. Slides are looking good. He's kind of checking behind him, seeing where Olaf is. But again, since this was just a, a run of two, they're, you know, they're likely not pushing it to the absolute limit. Yeah, you can see Olaf just taking a little time to stretch in between yeah. and yeah. getting into that sort of aerodynamic sort of tuck position almost as, as early as he needs to, which he's going to have to do, of course, in, in the later rounds. But for me, this is a course where if I'm thinking tactical, I think maybe just want to hang back and uh, make that pass to try and make my move towards the bottom of the hill to be honest and wow Cole getting it sideways a little wobble there so but he's okay he's, he's yeah, still going hung strong on there quick shout out to uh, downhill 254 who's watching from Kenya not sure what time it is there but thanks for uh, tuning in with us I'm glad you could join so heat number 7 is in the start Baklav from the Czech Republic. I think this is Antoine, Antoine on the Antoine, right. Yeah. And Antoine giving a little air break there. I think that's so that he's not going shoulder to shoulder into the first left. He, he knows what he's doing. He doesn't want to get too too close into the first corner. It would be a shame to, to bail on a, on a bye heat like this with only two riders. There's a lot of drafting opportunity on this course as well, isn't there? It's the, where these straighter sections are, you can really tuck in behind that rider in front. And oh, whoa, oh, oh, uh, running that yeah, one. Yeah, he hung on to it. Loose. He almost slid off into the bales, but <laughs> they're having a little jab yeah, as well. Yeah, <laughs> having a laugh about yeah. that. That's good. I'm glad he was able to hang on to that one. Yeah, it's all smiles right, right now. You can see the smile on his face. And yeah, yeah, you want to just uh, write that one out. So. All good. Just looking over his shoulder, back on the drone. Such a cool perspective of, gives you the view of the, the landscape that we're competing in as well. Not too many folk competing in a place like this before. No, this is definitely one of the more, more scenic tracks out there. It's such a beautiful exposed hill. Oh, oh. he hits the bales. Let's see, it looks like he's gonna get up okay. Yeah, he's walking yes. okay. Slow to That's get up. Good. Yeah, nice. hopefully he's all good. Hopefully we can see him through to the next round. Now Antoine really gets to really gets to chill. Yeah, we've seen a few a few go down. Yeah, it's in it's these uh, early rounds. So when we add uh, two more competitors in, yeah, this could get a little little dicey in places. Last of the round of 32, round number one, we've got Diego Ponsel and Fabio meeting in this one. Diego is sort of happy to be in second place just due to how the seedings worked out with the likes of uh, Chase crashing. So, you know, it could work out pretty well for, for Diego here. Yeah, we were, we were talking a bit. I was talking a bit with Diego on the intermission there, and he was actually pretty happy with where he ended up uh, in the bracket. Uh, you know, we I think we mentioned Chase uh, had a crash in qualifying, so he actually ended up, Chase ended up in last place, which has kind of thrown some of the people for a loop because he's a talented rider, um, although now he has the slowest time, so he'll get thrown in there at a kind of odd, odd spot, but it should uh, make for something interesting. Yeah, and the experience of someone like Diego is just, this is all about 
just getting another feel of this track and they know the road conditions pretty well by now it's, it's dry out there it's uh liam as you were saying earlier this road is it does get rid of the moisture pretty quickly so yeah. pretty dry yeah it's it's really beneficial that this road the the type of surface that we're working with it uh, it, it dries up quick and it, it takes quite a bit to get wet. So luckily these guys have got a totally dry track. Diego's looking dialed. Uh, Fabio's looking dialed. Uh, I want to give a quick shout out to the YouTube viewers uh, from the Netherlands. Uh, we also got people from Nagano and then from the UK. So thank you guys from uh, for joining us from all around the world. Yeah, I appreciate you all tuning in. Thanks for following us along on uh, social media as well. Share the link, share the love. Get involved, keep the comments coming in. It's keeping us warm. Yeah. We're feeling the love from you guys because we yeah. are bouncing around in this commentary tent trying to trying to keep moving. Quick shot of the finish area and then we'll be back on uh, track. Uh, no, we've got the final... Heat we may have have we lost them yet? No, we're still oh, back over the final yeah. heat. They're still we still got shots of them. Although you know F Fabio, I'm not yeah. Oh there he is. Okay, yeah. good, good, good. I just didn't see him for a second. I worried that maybe he had gone off the road. Uh Tom from YouTube, I'm not sure. I honestly couldn't tell you what the temp is uh, on either, but it is the start, but we're underway, and it's uh, I quite like the position Harry's in on the right hand side. He gets on the board pretty early, but it looks like Alex uh, had a had a really good start, got an extra yep. kick in as well. But it's uh, it is Harry leading them away as they go flying past our position. Owen Fox at the back of the pack here right now on this long straight section about three four hundred meters into corner number one, and it's Harry Clark that's going to. Set the line or lead us into corner number one here. Yep, so we got it. Looks like Harry. Oh, Chase made a pass into second on the exit of corner one. And then we have Alex and Owen behind uh, behind them. Harry's still looking strong in first place going into corner two. Nice drone footage. Looking really t tight between, oh, and Chase passed back. Yeah, Chase just hey, exiting that corner yeah, a little, little bit more early. Speed, yeah, yeah, carried more speed out, yeah. and now we see Alex. He's right on the tail yeah. of Harry's board. Again, I think it's important to keep in mind that we, we talked about strategy a little bit, and. It's a race to get back on the boards here. Three riders down. Harry Clark's down. I think the man that's still standing is Alex at the front of the race. And now it is all about moving again. Is that Chase just trying to get past Owen Fox here? Harry Clark was in a good position. I think he's a little behind these guys. I'm not sure yet. But wow, what drama up there. There is Harry in fourth place so it is a battle between these three to see who can stay on their feet who can get that next spot of course with Alex up in front on his own he's just got to stay on his board now and he's in the semi-finals but what drama early on so not got a shot of um, Alex up ahead but he stayed on his feet didn't he yeah, yeah. It, it looked like it. That was a pretty big collision. I'm surprised he, he managed to stay on and, and didn't crash into the bales with everyone else. But th this makes it pretty interesting. Chase has, has got them led by quite a bit. I wouldn't be surprised if he pulls second. And uh, yeah, I just saw yeah, Alex there in first. So, so if Chase can stay up in front here, he'll move on. Harry and Owen will be out. But it's not over until it's over. Oh, oh Harry hits oh, the bales. No. Owen runs into him. So think pretty safe to say that Chase and Alex will be moving on to the next round. Yeah, it looks like Owen and Harry have kind of, you know, yeah. decided to take it easy. That's a bummer. That's a bummer for these guys. Yeah. They, they gave it their all. That was an unfortunate tangle. I'm not sure if Harry's uh, injured or bummed, but he's on his feet, so it shouldn't be too bad either way. So we're on to uh, heat uh, number two already started as well so yeah Yanis Macari and Oscar Rodriguez Esquam Thomas uh, Wing Wingson Thomas from Hong Kong as well I'm supposed to have uh, Yasmin in this one I don't see uh, Yasmin here so 
Yeah, I'm not. Sh yeah, I'm yeah. not seeing her either. I'm not sure what happened. She yeah. was looking really strong earlier. Yeah. Hopefully, we get to see her again in women's. This is the uh, next heat. This is heat three in the start. Okay, because we got can spot. Uh, we've got uh, Gregory Schwab, Coltrada, Khalil Hamuri, and uh, Olaf from Norway as well. Yeah, so this is going to be a pretty good lineup. It looks like the guys are getting outfitted with GoPros. If you guys stay tuned on the WDSC, you'll get to see some of that footage later on. So we do have a bit of time pressure as well. It's, it's coming up to quarter to four local time. So, you know, in an ideal world, we'd follow every heat all the way down. But we've got to get these races going. So um, this is uh, the riders in heat number two that are on the way. Of course, from heat number one. It is uh, Alex and uh, Chase that we think have gone through. Yep. And we'll get that confirmed afterwards. And then from right to left, it looks like we've got uh, Olaf, uh, Cole, Gregory, and then Khalil on the left. This is going to be a, a really stacked heat. Uh, these guys are all experienced uh, riders, all living in uh, areas with really great hills so this is going to be a fun one to watch um, I think we're just kind of letting the track clear up a little bit before we want to send these guys so that there's no kind of mixing yeah because that's the danger isn't it if there's a big crash up ahead we'd have to stop these guys right or potentially you know and that that can can delay things and got to get the the bales have got to get uh, fixed up in and put in the Back in a safe position, they, some of the uh, barrier uh, banners as well. It's not fun hitting a hay bale, though. You know, they yes, they protect you, but they're pretty hard. Yeah, yeah, that's that's not fun to hit a hit a hay bale, but it's better than going <laughs> flying off the road into yep. some rocks. Better so. than rocks and trees are yep. painful. Uh, yep. Hay bale does does the job. We have uh, in in ski racing, we have fences. Yeah. People think, oh yeah, the fence does its job. Yeah, it stops you hitting a tree. But you don't want to be hitting a fence either. So, so the heat number three, quarterfinal number three, lined up in the start. I haven't had a shot of the uh, positions in quarterfinal two. I believe, I believe heat number two is Giannis and Oscar moving yeah. on, I think. There's the view in the finish area. And guys, I am seeing some feedback on the live about not being able to see the entire run, which I totally understand. But just as a reminder, it gets dark pretty early here, and we really don't want to be racing in the dark. So we're trying to work our way through these heats, and uh, as a result, we have to send them pretty quickly, and it, it makes it pretty much impossible to film uh, each run all the way to the bottom. So please bear with us. Obviously, obviously, as we move further through the bracket, you'll be able to see more of the run. Um, we're, uh, uh, production crew, crew is doing the best they can, so please bear with us. We'll, we'll try and uh, keep you updated as we can. Yeah, we we'll take the feedback. We'll listen, and uh, you know, looking ahead to future events, how we can make this live stream as uh, as good as possible for you guys are watching at home, or if you're sneaking in a little viewing at work on this Sunday afternoon, if you're working on a Sunday, or whatever you're doing, family dinner. Yeah, I got your phone under the table, just watching a bit of. <laughs> Well, I actually just saw uh, Colby Park's parents just joined us from Canada on the live. So Nancy and Gary, hello. Thanks for joining us. Colby should be running here shortly. Uh, we just got to get through some stand-up downhill skateboarding. Um, yeah, but it looks like, you know, that there's a slight delay for the track to get cleared. You know, we had some collisions with the hay bales. We want to make sure all those uh, bales are stacked back up properly. The hay is swept off the road so that this uh, next heat, which is Olaf, uh, Cole, Gregory, and Khalil, uh, don't run into any interferences on the track. So these guys are just uh, having to just wait to 
relax, have a little chat, or as, as rela- relaxed as possible before your heat, because this is such a tough heat yeah. coming up. And uh, they are in a little bit of sunshine as well. Yeah, we're it's, getting a little yeah, warmth here. and coming through. I do feel for those guys at the top, as Gemma mentioned earlier, you know, that kind of waiting around at the start line can sort of mess with your head a little bit. You know, you line up, you get ready to go, and then they tell you to wait. Of course, it's for a good reason. We want to make sure the track is safe and clear. But I don't, uh, I don't envy these guys at the start line who are kind of, you know, right on the edge of their seat waiting to drop. Yeah, you get yourself in the zone, you get fired up, you think you're going in the next minute, and then you're told to hold. And often in the start, you don't know why you've been told to hold initially. You don't know if it's a crash, one of your mates could have gone down. And, you know, they try and give the information to those guys in the start when they can. But um, I'm sure they've told them they're just working on the track because there's nothing worse than knowing someone in the heat in front of you has crashed. And that's why there's a delay. So yeah. they'll have that information now and they just keep got to stay loose. Yep. Keep stay, moving around. Yeah, I saw moving. a uh, I saw a comment from uh, Rob McWinnie in Australia asking where Josh Evans is. He unfortunately had a crash uh, yesterday, I believe. Uh, his knee became inflamed. He is uh, in the hospital. Does not sound serious. Actually, it sounds like they found out when he was in the hospital that he had COVID. So he should be, re- he's in a nice hospital. I've heard he should be recovering okay. Actually, it's not COVID. Oh, okay, not COVID. <laughs> just maybe normally, just, a, yeah, maybe just, just a, a little injury. And the injury, possibly a little virus uh, yeah. and some infection. I'm not sure. I don't want to speculate, but yeah. definitely heard it wasn't COVID. I don't want people to panic <laughs> that everyone's going to fly home from this event yeah. uh, with COVID. Yeah, so that's a good point. That's uh, just try and clarify that yes, thank <laughs> for you, everybody. Thank you. I don't want to spread any rumors. So thanks for clearing that up. Although never let the truth get in the way of a good rumor. That's yes, what I always right, say. Right. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so so we, we wish uh, Jev uh, a quick recovery. Quick shout out to Raggy from Team Green in British Columbia. Quick shout out to the guys watching in Toronto and Spain. Got a quick shot of the finish line. These guys are kind of just relaxing, trying to stay warm. Quick shout out to Harry's dad, Paul Clark. Thanks for tuning in. Definitely a bummer about Harry. He was looking strong. Hopefully we can get a little interview with him at the top. Um, Quick shout out to people joining us from Argentina. Thank you. South Africa. We've got quite a worldly crew of viewers. Um... Yeah, we are truly global today. It is so good to have people tuning in from all over the world, and uh, there must be some solid tracks in South Africa. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was actually yeah. the last time I was commentating. Right. This was in, in uh, South Africa, a couple, of, a couple hours outside of Cape Town. It was an event called Hot Heels, and it was a fun one. Um, but yeah, it's good to be back on the microphone after, I think that would have been in 2000. 13, 14, so it's nice to be back on the mic. Thanks for having me. It's uh, awesome to have you along. Yeah, thanks. Keeping I don't... me in check. I'm learning all the time and <laughs> learning from you guys, and everyone's been super cool as well. So, Yeah, it's nice to, to, to see these boys in their element. You know, I have a background in racing, but not for a long, long time. So I know a little bit about it. I skate with a number of these people regularly. So it's cool to see them in their, in their element, doing their thing, wearing their suits, fancy helmets, going fast. Um, Yeah. So still some track work going on. That's why we, we have uh, that little delay, but yeah, it's been about 10 minutes now and you can see the conversation start. When are we going? When are we going? They're, they're eager. Yeah. Cole looks eager. But this is kind of a good time to maybe suss out your competition. Oh, it looks well, like we're we go. uh, going to be rolling here in a second. The guys are getting ready to go. So we've got Gregory Schwab, Cole Trotter, Khalil Hamuri, and Olaf Oy. In quarterfinal number three here at the World Downhill Skateboarding Championships. Eager to go after a long wait. Top two into the semi-finals. Here we go. And Olaf is a tall athlete, isn't he? But he's not oh, yeah. quite got the best of the starts. Yep. 
Again, it's a bit, a bit about strategy on this hill because it's so long. Just because you're in back doesn't mean you can't draft and make a pass. And they just ripped past us. Cole and Gregory out front by a bit. Cole maybe going for a pass here into turn one. This one's going to be tight. Okay, they were looking pretty clean on the exit. We got Gregory. Oh, he slipped a little bit, but he hung onto it. Cole's right behind him getting into his draft with Khalil behind Cole and Olaf back and forth. The first three guys are leading Olaf by quite a bit. Now Gregory and Cole seem to be kind of pulling away from the other two. Yeah, Khalil had, you know, really took some of that speed off. Yep. But, uh, you know, he's just got to stay in touch here. Not let these guys get completely out of sight. And, and that's what he's doing so far on the top half of this course. Olaf, uh, I haven't seen a shot of him for a bit. He's just that little bit further back. And Khalil getting, you know, on a good line there. And he's, it, they, they did pull away. Yep. Uh, but he's managing to just uh, reel them in ever so yep. slowly. There's Olaf coming through as well, still on the board. That's good to see. Yeah, and it, you know, it's interesting, right? Because... Uh uh, Gregory and Cole, they don't want to crash. They want to move on. But Khalil, at this point, this distance, he's kind of hoping for a crash from those two in front. That would certainly put him into the top two. So let's see what happens. If Gregory and Cole can stay safe, they'll likely move on to the next round. Yeah, starting to see the gaps uh, just grow a little bit here. Khalil still in third place. But it's never over till it's over. Yeah. Uh, that gap can be made up. It, it isn't too significant. Khalil could come up to second. Cole could come up to, to first. Uh, so we'll see. Yeah, but Gregory Schwab up uh, in uh, the lead right now. Qualified in third place. So we know he's got the speed on this course. And running right out to the bales. Cole was right on the edge there. That's the view in the start for the last of the quarterfinals. Diego Ponce, um, Antoine Carlotti, Vaclav Vanchara, and Fabio Minning in quarterfinal number four. It's quite interesting to see the different ways that they start. Uh, some, you know, really low with their hands on the ground, trying to get that extra reach on the first push. See how they fire off here, and they're off. So there's different uh, techniques, trying to get some GoPro footage out of the start as well, and everyone away cleanly. Uh, Antoine so, really kicked off strong yeah. in front. He's he's going to probably enter that first left in front. Here they are just passing us. Hopefully you can oh. hear that sound as well. Yeah. <laughs> We've got an effects mic right in front of us. Yeah. So what we'll do once uh, this one is complete, uh, as soon as we get the info, we'll to just confirm who has progressed into the next round as well from the previous uh, previous heats because obviously we didn't see that. We got some problems early on. Oh, we've oh, got. It looks like Antoine's yeah. out. One rider left standing, and there's a uh, little bit of carnage there. And I think that's Diego uh, first to his board after the crash. Antoine can't seem to find his board. Oh, oh Diego yeah. stopped. Has he got a problem with his board? Not quite he sure. Stopped? Two of the guys seem to be looking for their boards. Diego, I'm not sure why he didn't continue riding. This is interesting. Now we've only got one rider on their board. Other couple looking for their boards. Have they decided, maybe they've decided they're just gonna put their own start together or something here. Yeah. We're just gonna race it yeah, for three. Yeah, could be. For that, yeah. Cause I, I thought for a second that Diego maybe grabbed the wrong board and that's why he stopped. But I can see that he's riding his, his pro model board. So there's no reason other than potentially good sportsmanship yeah. that he'd stop. Oh, it looks like well, you're right. They might be doing their own kind of start here. Well, two of them are off. Antoine. Yeah. Oh, this, I've never seen yeah, anything like this. He's lost his board. This is, yeah. this is crazy. <laughs> I mean. So, and they don't seem to be, uh, this is uh, Fabio and, and Diego that essentially are competing for uh, to advance and they, they don't really seem to be competing. So that's interesting. I wonder, I'm, I'm curious to know the conversation between those guys after that crash. 
yeah, I wish we could uh, give you more on that one, but uh, yeah, all sorts of drama here. I think we are seeing a, a case of some really good sportsmanship, which isn't a surprise. I mean, it's something I've never seen before a situation like that, but knowing these guys, great sportsmanship is not surprising. So, uh, but it, you know, if, it looks like Diego's uh, in essentially second place in the advancing position, but again, not not pushing it at 100%, so somewhat interesting uh, that Fabio's not, you know, pulling up to him. Yeah, we don't, I don't like speculating, but maybe just, maybe a little hurt from that one, that's yeah, that's all I can think could of, be. Or, you know, possibly some damage to the wheel maybe, but uh, yeah, it looked like a nasty one, just caught the end of it, it's, you know, he's standing up tall as well, he's, yeah, I think he knows that he's not able to keep pace with with Diego here so yeah that was such a big crash and on the, yeah. in the inside as well yeah of that turn so yeah. everyone absolutely well there's Antoine so he's, so he's back on board. his board that's good that's good and he and obviously not injured too too badly if at all if he's on the board well, this is the last of the quarterfinals and yeah, well, we've had uh, a few scary moments uh, in these quarterfinals, but that's kind of what we were expecting might happen once we put everyone on the track together and everything was all up for grabs. Places in the semifinals and can the numbers that we're getting on the live uh, live stream right now, the best we've seen uh, yeah. all day for obvious reasons. That is a beautiful shot. That yeah. shows the track in all its glory snaking its way down the hill you can see back up towards the top of the hill there. so we got chase hiller on the right oh they're off and here they go chase is in back it's a little hard to tell with the angle oh man they're going to be tight going into this first one lining up a chase looks to be making a pass down the straight along the outside he's kind of taking a different line than everyone else it's pretty cool to see yeah, and he he pulled it. He's making some passes. Yeah, he looked like he had the confidence yep. in himself to to run that line, and he yep. knew he was going to have the speed coming into this first corner. But this is where it's really interesting. Chase Hiller on the inside, and he's gone from like fourth up to or third up to first. Yeah. Oh, he's hanging on to it. We got Oscar. Oh, no! <laughs> Chase is down. Oscar avoids him. So that will be Oscar, Giannis, and Alex in the top three here. That will be a question. It's you know, highly unlikely Chase will make up that time, but only two are moving on. Let's see if Oscar can come from third up to a second position. Yeah, so Chase has got back on his feet, and he's just got to keep going. You don't know what's going to happen yeah. further down the course. Right, all three could. Yeah, we've I mean, seen, it. See it. We've we've seen, seen it. it before. It's, we it's, want, well, I want to see them all on yeah. the feet. Oh, yeah, well, Oscar, Oscar goes side. down. It's a high side, so that's when the board side slideways, sideways and then grips up. And we'll throw you over the over the front. So that's a bummer, but he's back on his board. He looks okay. And it's good that he, he got back on it because, like you said, you never know what's going to happen. These front two are looking solid, um, but, it you know, anything can happen. Yeah, Yanis and Alex sat at the, the head of the race right now. They're just starting to look around and just... Yeah, see, I think yeah, they, they, see, they, they're, they're making... It. A smart call. His strategy is strong. They know that they, if they just hang out, they'll advance to the next round. So, up next. Yeah, semi-final two. Gregory Schwab, Vaclav, Van Kara, Diego Poncelet, and Cole Trotter in semi-final number two. They may just hold them a second. Are they going to hold them? Just in case the track is not in ideal condition. Doesn't look that way. Looks like... Yeah, there was some, you know... Oscar did hit the hay, but didn't look like hard. He might not have even touched it. And then Chase wiped uh, kind of coming out of a corner. So I don't think he hit the hay early or either. So they should send these guys pretty quickly. There's Oscar there and Chase right behind him. So it's nice to see that these guys are, uh, you know, yeah. despite their falls, still back up on the board, looking uh, relatively uninjured, if so at all. Hopefully all okay. So... Alex Suganakis and Yanis Makarian oh. through into uh, the uh, final as we get lined up and ready to go for the second of the semi-finals. Who is going to join them 
in the big final. Coming up a little later on. Loving the numbers that we've got on the uh, live stream here. It's awesome to have you along. The French guys absolutely killing it in uh, semi-final number one. And out of the start here in uh, semi-final two, it's close again. It's tight. And Cole, he, he looking, he was looking a little light on the push, but but the strategy was good. He's in second place. We'll see if he gets drafted and passed it by Fabio. Sorry, Gregory. I uh, get confused on the white leathers. That's Gregory in third, Cole in second. They're looking tight going into this first left. Let's see, is everyone through cleanly out of this oh, first turn? Yeah. It's close to the hay, but close. hanging on, everyone that's still going strong. Looks like we got Diego in third right behind Cole. Quick air break. Oh, there's a pass on the inside. Oh, Cole's still hanging on to so. Oh, hey, Cole got rubbed. Oh, and two uh, to uh, the down. From behind. It's okay, it looks like some of the boards might have gone missing. Yeah, they're still got. It was really tight going into that corner, and when everyone's putting their board sideways, oh, there goes a board. Oh, yeah, that's, that's going to take a little bit of a hike to grab that one back. So two men left standing. That's Diego and Gregory left standing. And if they're smart, they'll realize that the other guys have crashed, and if they just kind of hang out, they'll be able to advance. But again, you never know what happens. So hopefully the other... Uh, third and fourth get to their boards and can keep riding down the hill. So more drama in the second semi-final. Drama all over the racetrack here. We're back on the drone. Gregory and Diego looking to join the two Frenchmen in the big final. In the late afternoon sunshine and boy are we glad to have it. Oh that's a shame isn't it? Finally catching up with the board. Yeah. Hope to see Cole get back on his board. I hope he's okay. Again, it looked really tight going yeah. into that right. They were all getting sideways. You know, it's based on different wheels that people are riding. They slide at kind of different speeds and frequencies. I see Cole there is back on his board, so that's that's good to see. And that's just racing sometimes. You know, you'll make collisions when things are tight. Robin is racing. Yep. <laughs> that's it. You know, these two out of the front all oh, going for the uh, the concrete line. Yeah. There. Let's get that tight again. Vaklov. Oh, this is... Sorry, I'm not quite sure what's going on here because Chase would have been in this run, but it looks like he stepped out. So we've got Oscar, then Cole, then Vaklov going into the first left. Oscar's out in front, followed by Cole, then Vaklov. So essentially these people here are competing for 5th, 6th, and 7th place. This is the consolation final. Yeah, let's hope Chase is okay. He's been uh, in a few battles today, hasn't he? Maybe just decided he didn't didn't want another run it down the track. Right. So small final, the consolation final. Got to get the terminology right here. And uh, yeah, these points matter. Yep. We did see Chase ride down. So, you know, if... Even though he's stepping out of this race, he shouldn't be too injured. Ooh, Oscar had a quick wobble into that right, but it looks like he's hanging on. Yeah, this one is close, though, isn't it? Through the first close. couple of... Vaklov made a nice pass. You can see, just going over one of those repaved moments, that, that board really wobbles yep. coming across, and it's really pushing the riders. And Cole seems to be using a bit of strategy. I saw him doing some air braking. He wasn't looking to draft and get close to those guys, so he may be looking to make a strategic pass here. But Vaklov does seem to be leading by by a little bit. Now Cole and Oscar are kind of battling it out in a straightaway here. Oscar breaking tuck to get into Cole's draft. That draft is pretty important. You can really catch up on someone with that. Cole flicking out a quick drift around that difficult rock right that we've talked about. Hanging on to it. And just as I kind of predicted, Oscar used some of that draft speed to make a pass on Cole. Yeah, so Oscar up into second. Vaklav still in the lead. But Cole yeah, is still picking up it? on yeah. him. Yeah, he's, he's getting there. And he'll get into Oscar's draft here. Vaklav's got them led by quite a bit. They definitely could catch up on him. But I would say his lead, it, it, it's maybe unlikely. Now Cole and Oscar are kind of battling for... 
uh, seventh, or excuse me, yeah, seventh place. Sixth place. Sixth Sorry. place. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So I'm not a very I'm, good I'm at maths a, either. I'm a skateboarder, not a mathematician. Yeah, me neither. So <laughs> I had to have a lot of help to get through maths at <laughs> school. So, um, but then again, what what excuse? We've got these on our... <laughs> yeah, right, right. Yeah, so this Concy uh, final is still... Everyone stayed on their feet so far. Vaclav has put a really special run together. A wait for her since then. Oh, it was almost a jump in the start there to my eye, but I couldn't hear the count. Oh, oh down and ja ow. Jasmine goes down as well. Oh, is that broken? Yeah, it looks like a pro puck or a, puck or a puck GoPro maybe, came yeah. off. Oh, but they're both back on their okay. boards. So it could have been a GoPro mount or something. Let's yeah. hope it was a GoPro mount yeah. and not, not a puck. Not a puck. That would be a shocker if you drop a hand with no puck on it. I've seen that happen before, and it's not fun. So just passing our position here. Well, right out of the start. Big, big, uh, big, big drama. Well, the men, men's Conci final is completed. There's a yellow flag out I just saw on the course. So have we lost somebody else? Well, Yasmin is catching up here after oh, wow, four out of the start. Yeah, she's really putting the hammer down. Grace is out in front by quite a bit, but there's some serious uh, distance being made up by Jasmine, especially after that crash. This now the pressure now on Grace. Well, yeah, she knows she's been lead. hunted down oh, by yeah. Yasmin Hanagram, who I think really likes this course. She was unsure coming in, thinking it may be you know tricky with the top section but she's building carrying the speed and maintaining the speed really well and these tight turns suit her style yep grace wong just scrubbing the speed and just managing it through the turn well she's holding off yasmin looking yeah. behind her here yep we'll see it seems like yasmin's able to make up some of that distance and we've definitely still got some of the track left Grace seems to be signaling. Oh, I think that's because, like I was saying, some of these people are doing uh, slides in the opposite direction. Oh, there, Jasmine goes for the pass. Yeah, was she signaling to, to the, let the riders know behind her that she, what she was going to do exactly, there? Yeah. Exactly, exactly. But this is so smooth from that from Yasmin as well. She's just put that, that crash out of the start behind mm -hmm. her right away and built the race from there. It's a long track. You've got the time. And she's got the confidence in, in herself and her ability to do that. And she is looking good here at the front of the race. But it's still on. Everyone's still, still in contention. Still contention. Yeah. yeah, totally. They're, they're pretty evenly spaced. Oh, we might see a pass from third to second here. And from fourth to third. That's pretty exciting. So I think Jasmine's leading by quite a bit now, and she's in first place. Yeah, she's got about four seconds. Oh, the rider in second has gone down in that turn. Yep, so then Grace is going to come back from fourth to third. That rider looks like she's getting, yeah, she's back on her board, so she's all good. Looks like she may be having an issue with her puck, which mm. could be from that uh, start line crash. Sometimes when you fall and your puck removes or gets removed. The open stand-up final, all eyes on this one, and Diego powering away those long, powerful strides, and it looks like he's going to drop into third place at the moment, but it's obviously very, very early. We've just gone a couple of hundred meters or so as they all charge past. Just blown past yeah. us. What? Oh, man, they're tight. Gregory looks like he's out in front with Diego, looking to make a pass. Up to first or second, going into that first left. Oh, we are neck and neck. Third Everyone. and fourth. Man, it is tight in there. Diego's going to come out in first, is he? he oh, yeah. he's in second still. Gregory's holding on to that first place. So Gregory's still in the lead. Diego Poncelet in second place, but he's been put under pressure. Oh, yeah. He's under pressure here. He's get he's he's uh, got he's got third place in his draft. Let's see if he can be defensive enough going into this left without colliding. That's going to be key. 
Gregory looks like he's got a pretty decent lead, but knowing Diego, he can make that up. I'm curious to see if Diego uh, chooses to do his concrete inside, inside, inside lines. Those are pretty dangerous, but definitely pay off if he can hang on. And it is close between the top three yet right now. Gregory Schwab still in the lead in that all white suit. Diego Ponsolet in second place. But been put under pressure. Everyone is so far, well, the top three still on the feet. There was possibly a little problem for the man in that fourth place, but it is tight. You cannot afford. Oh, any there it goes Diego. Pretty hard on the inside, but not quite on the concrete. Oh, but look at the gap. He's closed it yeah. right oh, in. And now Diego on the inside line, just avoiding the concrete. Oh, made the pass. Oh, made the pass. And they'll be, they'll be going into this neck. Oh, Gregory's going to pass back. Let's see if Diego can carry more exit speed. Potentially get into Gregory's draft here. Oh, man, this is going to be tight for first and second. And again, you never know what's going to happen. Third could be first pretty quickly. Diego on that on the inside pass. line. That was beautiful. Yeah. Just got the beautiful. line, pinched it, absolutely pinched it. But he's still under pressure from uh, Gregory. He's yeah. fighting right the outside. Oh! Inside, inside. Oh, what a move that was what to take a first bold place pass back. right. Oh, and there goes Diego on the concrete line, like we talked about, to make a clean pass. He hung onto it. Um, he's got first place back again. <laughs> I can't make them out here, but what racing we've got. I hope you're loving it as much as uh, we are here. We're going to try and stay on the drone for as long as we yeah. can to give you as much of the action, but uh, it's going to prove pretty difficult. difficult. <laughs> well. <laughs> oh, here we go. We got the finish line. They should be rounding the last right-hand corner in a second here. I know I read the track. This right's a little funny. You come out of it kind of slow. So if it's tight, it may be a real neck and neck across the line finish. Okay, let's see. It looks like we got it looks like we got Diego out in front. I think that's Diego out in front. Yep. So wow, something must have happened to Gregory. Own. Let's see who I think Gregory's gonna come in second here. Let's see if oh, we can. Oh uh, what a battle. What Diego, a battle. Diego Ponsolet. first place. Gregory, Gregory in second. second. Wow. Yeah. Wow. What what intense racing. I can't even count the number of passes between Diego and Gregory. Uh, that that was some of the most stand-up racing I've seen in a long time. Folks, was that worth the wait? I appreciate it.